I'm Maeve. After a few rainy days in Ireland, I'm back in Euro Pocket News. Today's Friday and we're talking about alcohol and gay pride. So let's go. When UK ministers relaxed licensing laws that came into power back in November 2005, they thought it would bring about a more European-style cafe culture to the UK, ensure a drop in violent crime, stagger pub closing times, and in doing so reduce the amount of binge drinking. But seemingly the 24-hour drinking casualties have trebled and there are still around 23,000 alcohol-related incidents weekly. Well, today is Friday. Most of us will head out tonight for at least a pint or two. But in doing so, are we contributing to this concept of binge drinking? Because did you know that a mere two pints equal five units of alcohol and are therefore considered an act of binge drinking? According to recent reports from the Drinks Industry Group of Ireland, well, seen as Pablo, our reporter in London, is frequently out and about on the London social scene, he decided to confront some frequent pub goers on the theme. Would you consider yourself a binge drinker? According to an EU wide survey, the UK, Poland, and Ireland are the biggest binge drinkers. But why is this? Is it a social or cultural phenomenon? Now, bear in mind that 21 units a week is the limit for men, and 14 units a week is the limit for women, and 10 units is a bottle of wine. So I went down onto the streets of London to see if this was actually the case. Also, I met a representative from an alcohol concern group and attempted to speak to a representative from the biggest drinks producer. They were unfortunately not able to comment. ¿Cuánto bebes a la semana? Pues depende. En invierno menos, en verano ahora con el buen tiempo. Una cerveza cada dos días. I would say I drink it three to four days a week. Yo bebo, bebo yo creo que demasiado, más de lo que debería, no sé. Todos los días, posiblemente en los tres últimos años habrá hecho siete días que no bebo, la media es tres por día, digamos, contando que hay días que bebo una, pero luego los fines de semana bebo el doble, eso hace en tres por siete, 21, una, una media de 21 pintas a la semana. Pues no mucho, gracias a Dios, porque mi resistencia al alcohol es bastante pequeña. I drink infrequently, but when I drink I will have a few. I think up to about five to six pints uh, a week of beer. Um, it would depend. If uh, if I'm just out in the pub for a drink, then I'll only have a couple. Uh, if I go out clubbing, then obviously I'll drink quite a bit more. It depends on the number of times I go out in, in a week. And normally it's around about, at the moment, averaging around about four nights a week, um, times about five pints, so about 20. ¿Crees que es, es perjudicial para tu salud? Sí, yo creo que es algo que no se dice mucho. Contando, por ejemplo, con el tabaco, que se dice demasiado, ¿sabes? Se dice un montón. La gente no tiene esa conciencia con el alcohol. Y yo creo que es importante que ahora se estaban empezando a hablar de eso. Okay, and you think that's an excessive amount of alcohol, or...? Uh, no, I'm happy with my alcohol consumption. Okay, so you think that the 21 units, which is the recommended weekly allowance of alcohol, is... You think it's a little bit over-precautious? Uh, yeah, I think it's difficult. I think it's a difficult thing for a government to set a limit on. Uh, I think it should be more down to your own common sense by how much you think you can drink and what isn't affecting, or what is and what isn't affecting how you live your life. So yeah, I don't think I drink excessively at all. And you think it's a problem here in the UK, or do you think it's something? I think generally that's binging been... on anything is a problem, uh, but binge drinking, I think yeah, it can be a big problem. And you think people drink differently here than in your home country, Germany, or is it the same kind of drinking? No, I think they drink faster here, but they're, they're obliged to have the club shut down earlier, so they don't have no choice. And they start drinking way earlier than we do in Germany. Do you think the UK has a bin drinking problem? I think there are a range of different issues. Uh, some are structural around, for example, the availability of alcohol, uh, the fact that we live in an environment that's completely saturated with drinks advertising, and young people certainly seem to be very driven by that, but also I think there is a cultural yeah. thing. I, I tend to be a bit wary about like cross-European comparisons because obviously it depends on, on a very long history of, of alcohol consumption and, and how people relate to alcohol. I know certainly there's an attempt in this country to, to get us to drink in a more healthy way and to sort of only drink with meals and so on. Um, but I think a lot of it has to do with, you know, the, the sort of examples we set for children about how one should sort of build up a relationship with alcohol. As it currently stands, we don't set a really great example. Okay. And finally, 
Tallinn was happily preparing for its fourth ever annual Gay Pride Parade to take place on the 11th of August, until the administration of the capital of Estonia banned it. However, since the intergroup on gay and lesbian rights in the European Parliament called on Estonian authorities to go easy in line with the Estonian Constitution and the European Convention of Human Rights, European politicians have stepped in and shown their support, in particular MEPs from Finland and Sweden. Last year, people were egged and stoned while they marched, and that must not take place again this year. It's the European Year of Equal Opportunities for All, a year where we should all be allowed to show our pride. Well, that's all for today. If you're going binge drinking, have fun but be careful. Until I see you again on Monday, in Euro Pocket News. Bye!